Hey guys and welcome back to another train simulator video. Set up the train and depart when ready. As you are a little early, you will be held at a red uh, at a signal just before Wembley Central for service to pass. So today we're going to be doing the 710 East Croydon to Milton Central service. We're going to be taking an unusual class 350 instead of the class 377 southern service which normally runs on this line. And we're just on a piece of track that uh, joins the West London line to the West Coast Main Line, so that's where we're going to be starting. And we're going to be doing all stations from Wembley Central to Milton Central. And we'll be held up just before Wembley Central, as it mentioned, as we are a little bit early. And we'll probably be letting our another London Office Railway service or London Midland service pass by from Houston. And that will probably take priority over this hourly service that runs between East Croydon and Milton Central. But yeah, uh, let's get started. Let's put the key in. Let's put the lights on so I can see what we're doing. Let's see the neutral. TPWS and AWS operational. Put the lights on. So let's do that. Um, should be here. There we go. Put the instrument lights on if I can. There we go. I got. I'll leave that for now. So the only thing we have left to do is turn the DI off and obviously change the destination. So we'll do that first. So by pressing the F8 key, we can change the destinations. To say Milton Keynes Central. Oops, we missed it. There you go. And we're ready to go to take our 8 car class 350 train. I'm assuming that's the train we're waiting for to pass. So hopefully we won't get held up now. And obviously that train's not stopping at Wembley Central, so that'll be long gone by the time we reach Wembley Central. And let's turn the DIA off, and we should be good to go. Just need to put this into forward. Virgin trains there. Going to London Houston. Now this is the Armstrong Powerhouse um, Class 350. As we join back up onto the West Coast Main Line. Not too sure why it's not a 377 we're driving. Anyways, I guess it's something different. So I did post a video a few days ago regarding uh, all grand service between Watford Junction and London Houston and you guys seem to really enjoy it so and I really enjoyed it as well so that's really good. So yeah obviously we've been doing a lot of videos on the West Coast Mainline South Route version 5.2, which is this, which where this scenario is also running on. But such an amazing route, so you can't really blame me for continuing to do scenarios on this route. But we got green signal so far, so we should be all right. I forgot to turn down the graphics settings completely down, but hopefully, I think 5.2 has made it a little bit less laggy, so we should be okay. Hopefully. So we're switching tracks now. The McVitie's factory there. Classic. So 
So we are kind of essentially doing what the Bakerloo line does and all Grand Services do between our Stonebridge Park and Wormley Central, or it goes underneath the West Coast Main Line. So we are heading downhill now. So our first session will be Wembley Central. Or you can change for London All Grand Services and the Bakerloo line. Now London Midland Services do also uh, stop at Wembley Central but not very often so probably best to take a uh, All Grand and Bakerloo line to Harren Wills and then, then change for London Midlands service. Now I'm gonna call it London Midlands because this is scenario is based in 2008. Now I take this uh, route quite often between Clapham Junction and Harrow and Wilton, so I kind of know the pain between here and Wembley Central, where it takes a really long time to travel between the Wilson Junction and Wembley Central because obviously we've got a 30 mile hour speed limit at the moment and it goes down to 15 so it's a pretty slow process unfortunately is that a red for us? I think it's a yellow or green Now the scenario might lag more than I kind of wanted to, but that's on the basis that I haven't turned down my graphics settings as much as I probably should have, but anyways. Wait, that is a red signal. Oh, that's a yellow signal, what am I doing? It looked like a red signal. But that one's a red signal, definitely. Yeah, that's a red signal. Virgin trains blast past us. Let's go a bit closer to the red signal. I'm assuming we're waiting for our London Midland service. And the Virgin train services are on a separate platform and don't stop at Wormley Central. Probably waiting for this train then, I'm assuming. Yeah, that makes sense. And I was doing our path, so. Let's 
putting my bomb on the news then. And we should be good to go, so let's get going. Head into Wembley Central. I kind of forgot about that 50 mile last few minutes, so that's why I went quite a bit fast and then obviously slowed down. So we're heading into Wormley Central. Not our first stop of the journey because obviously this train came from. East Croydon. So our previous stop would have been um, Shepherd's Bush, as these trains don't stop at Wilton Junction. This is Wembley Central. All aboard. Can we take a nice cringe? That's the real question. Not really. Yeah, there's poles in the way, unfortunately, so. Actually, to be fair, this one's quite nice. So all these signs have been updated to say London Overton Railway in version 5.2. If you are wondering, one of the things that they have updated. And our next station is Harrow and Wilson, which is a station I would normally get off. As that's my local station, but today we're going to be going all the way to East Croydon. We've got a 19 mile hour spin limit, so it shouldn't take too long to get to uh, Harron Wilson, but three, four minutes normally. There's a bacon line in this scenario. Using a 1973 stock, maybe. Okay, we should start slowing down now because we're going to be arriving at Harren Wilson very soon as we pass, pass South Kenton. Yeah, we're heading and approaching Harren Wilson at speed, so we'll start slowing down now. Job flying past us. Very nice, very nice. Looks like a 10 part Voyager train. Probably going to Holyhead or Glasgow Central. Glasgow Central or Edinburgh, Waverley. Well, we're now approaching Harrow and where we can change for natural rail services. 
the Bakerloo Lane and the London All Ground service. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. We're actually pretty good on this train, so that's good. This is Harren Wilson. All aboard, all aboard. The next station is in Watford Junction. Harren Wilson. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's added any Bakerloo line stock. It's a bit of a shame, but that's okay. I'm not seeing any oil ground services as well, so that's a bit disappointing. So hopefully we'll see some. At least an oil ground service, because obviously they run between here and Waffle Junction as well. But this train is ready to go. Please mind the doors. Next station, Waffle Junction. If you are wondering what Voyager that uh, the AI is using in the scenario is the Just Trains Voyager. So you will need to own that to have AI from that uh, train in the scenario. It does specify in the description of this scenario. Which you can find on the Alan Thompson website. So I'll arrive at Watford Junction at 8.19, so about four minutes to go. So we should be okay. And Mills King Central is 37 miles away, so... Shouldn't take too long. I remember seeing them a long time ago. I think I, I do actually miss those three to one anyway. They look quite nice with the London Midland livery anyway, so it's a bit of a shame they don't we don't have them anymore on the West Coast Main Line. Now we have obviously the three one nines, which are not really that much better to be fair. So, anyways, I nice see that that's using the Armstrong Powerhouse. 3, 2, 1, so I don't need to do a scenario for that actually. I think I saw a scenario on this route actually with the Silver Link livery with that train, so between Miltikin Central and London Houston, so I'll probably be playing that next. That should be a fun scenario to play. So speed through the West Coast Main Line. Got three miles left to Watford Junction. Passing Carpenters Park. Oh, there's a 313 there, look at that. It's using all 313. Oh, 
That's really nice actually. I really like that actually. I'm pretty sure the 313s were running on this line in 2008. It was such a long time ago, so... Well, now we know why there's no all ground services, because obviously... All ground services didn't run in 2008. But yeah, that was nice to see that 313. Would it be nice to take a screenshot actually? We could take a nice screenshot actually at Waterford Junction if there is one parked up there. As we're passing Bushy. And now we're going to be approaching Watford Junction. It's getting quite laggy now because there's so much AI around, but. There goes a virgin trains flying past. I think we might be slightly late at this rate. That's okay. Now approaching Watford Junction, change it for Silverlink services and I guess other natural rail services. Or it could be all ground services using the class 313. So I do remember the 313s had like the all ground sign on, on the trains, obviously when they were transitioning between all ground between Silverlink and all, London all ground. I'm going to be slightly late. But only by a few seconds. All aboard, all aboard. We have a Voyager flying past us. Let's actually see if there's a 313. Oh, there is a 313. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that is using the all ground logo as you can see. So I was right about that. Unfortunately, we can't take a nice screenshot here, but. Or can we? Yeah. We can't take a nice screenshot there. But yeah, that's really nice to see. 313. London all ground logo. Very nice. But anyways, we need to get going, so our next station is Himmel Hempstead. As our 313 departs, so that will turn off towards Watford High Street and it will uh, join back to the West Coast Main Line alongside, I mean. Next station is Himmel Hempstead.
are we going 70 miles an hour anyway? Because I'm trying to maintain the speed because otherwise we will definitely be late to Hamilton Hampstead. Which we do not want to do. Even though there's no timing for that. But we do have a timing for Berghams, so... But anyway, if you're wondering what that sound was, that was my squeaky chair. A very old chair, I do need to replace it at some point, but... Let's go slightly faster as the speed limit goes up to 90 miles an hour. And back down to 75 and then back up to 100 miles an hour, so... So I've had a few suggestions that um, one of you guys want me to drive the all ground service with a class 313 which I think is an amazing idea so I will be doing that at some point it will be a quick drive as I have no skill in making scenarios but yeah um, I'm probably used into Watford Junction I'm assuming because we obviously did a snowing just now between uh, Watford Junction and London Euston I'm pretty sure there's a destination for uh, Watford Junction. It's a 313, hopefully. So we got two miles left to Hemel Hempstead. So I think we should start slowing down to be fair. Because Burke Hempstead is five miles away, so we should be okay actually. Yeah, let's go on the throttle now. Change it for other London Midland services to a Birmingham New Tree, Novahampton, Crew, and Stafford. This is Hemel Hempstead. All aboard. I 
Alright, have a Just Trains Voyager flying past. Very nice. And our train is ready to go, so please ban the doors. Next station is Burkhamsted. I think there's another train coming, is it? Uh, no, oh, there is. There's a Pendolino coming. There's a lot of AI in the snow, which I'm really liking. We've seen a 321 on the Midland service, and of course, a class 313. Two class 313s. Only has a London Normal Ground service, so that's really nice to see. So we got Berghamsted, Tring, Leighton, Buzzard, Bletchley and Mills again Central. It's 8.30 and we have departed at 8.32 so we should be okay to reach on time and depart on time as well. I think we're all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we're at Berghamston. London service. To be fair, we're driving at, yeah, as a southern service. So we shouldn't really be classing us as a London Midland service. And obviously we came from East Croydon. Whereas this London Midland service is going to Houston. But this is Berkhamster change here. For some reason, this station only has this gap in between, which is really weird. I don't know why. Who knows, there might be a gap like this in real life. Never been to Berghampton in real life, so I, I don't really know. But I'm pretty sure there wouldn't be a gap here, which is this big. That train departs for London Euston. So all these stages have been updated with these green poles to match London over the railway. And these signs, now we see the... These are uh, signs that show all the stations, etc. If you've seen some of my old videos on version 5.0 then... Some of these station signs don't actually load up at all, so it's nice that they've updated it quite a bit. It runs a lot smoother. But our next station will be Tring. So please mind the doors. 
because this train is ready to depart any second now. station shrink I believe somebody is making a scenario pack for this route so and I think one of the scenarios included is this type of scenario that goes from East Point to North Spin Central with obviously the 377 so always I'll be doing another scenario like this using the actual train that's runs in this line but it's nice to obviously drive different trains usual routes but to be fair like seeing this train on the west coast mainland it isn't unusual at all because honestly it does run on the west coast mainline whereas if you saw this train on between uh clapham junction and east Crony, it would look really weird whereas a southern service would look normal because obviously southern services do run in south london so you get get both cases depending on what train you drive. As so we head into a tunnel, which are now loading up properly. So we've got 11 miles to Leighton Buzzard, 17 miles to Bletchley, and 20 miles to Milton Central. So. Once you get to train is a bit of a journey for the next stations. Another 350, a fast service 350. Now, I'll probably it'll take us at some point. And we will have to slow down. So we have one 350, and we have two 350s, and we've got a 377. So. A lot's happening around the Tring area. As we have that 350 uh, all take us. Probably doing a fast service to Birmingham New Street, I'm assuming. As we arrive at Tring. This is Tring. All aboard. This is your Southern Service 2. Mills and Keen Central. So we've got Leighton Buzzard in 11 miles, we got Bletchley in 17 miles, and we got Miltekin Central in 20 miles. So, three stations left. The next station is Leighton Buzzard.
Ah, so I have a Virgin train service. Going from London, Houston. And there is actually a scenario using the brand new um, Virgin Trains livery. So I will probably be doing a scenario on that very soon as well. So there's like two scenarios, one from Glasgow Central to Carlisle, I think, or Preston. And there's another one between Carlisle or Preston to Glasgow Central, so yeah. It does use obviously the updated Virgin Trains livery. Not a classic one, which I'm sure all of us love. But it does look not too bad actually in real life. It looks better in real life than it does. In pictures, I would say, like the the whole like the whole white of the train looks really nice actually in real life, especially when it's like clean and all that. But when that white gets really dirty, it's like it doesn't look very nice. I would say. If you've ever been to London Newton and seen it up close, and it looks quite nice actually, if it's all clean and all that. I'm not too sure why. It Went off the throttle there, but we haven't reached 100 miles an hour yet, so. So we've got loads in buzzard. Oh, that yellow signal is. I'm assuming we're catching a train. That's a yellow, and I think it's a red ahead of us, so. We'll probably have to slow down. I'm gonna assume a train's ahead of us. Yellow, it looks like the yellow, so I want to see how much trains ahead of us. Yeah, there's a train ahead of us, as you can see, so not too sure if it's gonna stop at that station. It looks like it's gonna stop a latent buzzer, so I guess we will be. Getting a rest signal at some point. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that train is gonna hold us, hold us up now, unfortunately. So. I don't think it'll get, get us hold up too much, I would say. Because the train's already at the station and it's like still two miles to go to Lazen Buzzard, so. That train should hopefully start departing any time now, and. It should be well out of our way once we've stopped at Lazen Buzzard. 
Hopefully. Yeah, you always get delays towards the end of a journey, don't you? Is that train departed? Yes, that train departed, so... I think we should be okay for not receiving a red signal. We shouldn't really receive a red signal anyway, because... That train's passed two signals at least, so... Should be good. Now approaching Leighton Buzzard. To be fair, we're not even in a rush to a railway station because obviously we have that train ahead of us, which is causing these yellow signals to appear. So probably better to like arrive here a bit late and as slow as possible. I think that sign is like facing the wrong way or something. I'm gonna check that out. But it's late in Buzzard. Change it for other Midland services. Yeah, look at this. This is really weird. <laughs> so this sign should be facing either this side or that side, but it's actually facing like, like, I don't know. Towards this side, towards the pole, which is not correct, I'm pretty sure. So that's really weird. You know what I'll do? I'll take a. Sc and we have floating cars at um, Nathan Buzzard, so. Yeah. You know what? No, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Let's be depart. <laughs> I'll probably post that on the Facebook page. Maybe one of the people who, who did, made this read and probably could fix that. I kind of like the floating car, so I won't tell him about that. Our next station is Bletchley, our penultimate stop. very soon so we should be okay for not to get held up by that train
you have to throttle now as we don't want to be speeding but obviously okay, accelerate now as the speed limit is going up to 100 miles an hour So we'll get off that now. Is that a green signal? Um, I'm not one to go around the bend. Yeah, it's still a green. Is that green? Or is that yellow? No, it looks like a green for me. Oh, wait, that is yellow. Yeah, let's, you know what, let's go on the throttle now. I think we should be okay, but just in case. Yeah, it's a yellow and a red, so we didn't slow down now. But that's right, we actually have 8.53 anyway, so we're a few minutes early actually, to be fair. I didn't realize we were gonna be arriving this early. To be fair, it won't be too much early, so it might be okay. And that is a red signal, so I do need to slow down now. Nope, this is yellow, my bad. Not paying attention. Let's say we're good to uh, hit platform 3 at Bletchley. Well, we have that obviously that branch line between Bletchley and Bedford. I believe it uses a class 150 slash 1, which I don't own. I only own the class 150 slash 2, so I don't think there'll be AI for that if, if you didn't include it. But we're now approaching Bletchley. Change of our services towards Bedford. And under London Million Services. All aboard. This is Bletchley. Where is that branch line anyway? I think it's here, yeah. Is it? I'm not too sure. There's a line here. Where's that go? Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's somewhere here. I'm assuming this is where the line towards Bedford goes. Yeah, or maybe I'm not too sure. 
I might shorten them up actually. Down, well, I think it's, it was that side, I think. Anyways, our next station is Milton Keynes Central where the train terminates. We'll be departing any minute now, so please mind the doors. Even though the doors seem to have closed, or well, the ones, the front doors haven't opened, it seems. It's a bit weird. flashing yellow so let's keep an eye on that I think we're good to go actually, to be fair. Cause the train ahead of us is already at um, Milwaukee Central on a different platform. As that is probably continuing to uh, maybe Northampton and Birmingham New Street or Crew. Still got yellow signal, so we'll just keep it around 57 miles, I guess. I will surely be arriving at Mill Screen Central where this train terminates. All change, please, all change. This train terminates here. Looks like a yellow and a yellow, so it should be alright. Arriving at a terminating platform at Mill Screen Central. I'm assuming this is just for the southern services which terminate and start at Milton Keynes, I'm assuming. Pendolino, it looks like that, stopping also at Moon Screen Central. And it doesn't seem to be going very fast. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is Milton Keynes and all change, all change. Please get off my train. And no service stopping here. Is they sure where it's going to? Unfortunately, Pendolino doesn't show the destinations, unfortunately, on the front of the train. It might show on the side of the train, maybe. Uh, not really. No one says here, actually, but... Guess not. This train will probably head back to East Croydon after a very long journey from East Croydon to here. Been quite an enjoyable scenario, low AI. One thing missing was probably the Bakerloo line stock, but apart from that, it was pretty good. Low of AI, which is really nice to see. Well done, you have completed this nice successfully. I'm hoping I haven't crashed the game. No, we haven't. We're good. But yeah, that was a 710 East Credit 2 Milton Central Service in 2008. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, share with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.